Hi folks, we got a little chicken dish for you today. Now we all like chicken wings and drumsticks and stuff like that, don't we? Yes. But they're nice when they've got a coating on them, folks. So we've just got all of this Chuckles barbecue sauce and Chuckles- Original hot sauce. Original hot sauce. Now these are for marinating your chicken with. Uh, we was given these by uh, Gary's neighbour actually, who actually don't makes this it. stuff. And we thought we'd give it a go. And uh, he actually normally sells this around all the shows and all that, doesn't he? I've seen it in a couple of butchers. Yeah, maybe. and even the local butchers and stuff like that. Farm markets, things like that. So we thought we'd give it a go and we'll cook them up in the air fryer. But first of all, we've always going to marinate them. So let's get going with the marinade and let's see what these things are going to turn one out for like. You. Oh, God, I've got to have a go, boy. I've put in gloves on because I'm going to rub it in well. So. Well, of course you are. Because I'm going to have the hot chilli, so you can have the barbecue. Oh, we'll do that for you, baby. So we, we're preparing two bowls, folks. And as you can see, they're not just the little tiny wings. It's the actual full wing, so to speak. So we're going to get that stuff in there and give them a really good marinade. You ain't got to put all that in, just enough, because uh, we can coat them again afterwards when they're cooked. So always wise, Sharon, to put a glove on, baby. Yeah, especially this one, because it's a chilli. This so. is the chilli one, yeah. So we'll do that and we're gonna just let them soak in there. How long are we gonna let them soak for, baby? As long as possible, really. Yeah, but you can leave them overnight if you want, can't you? Yeah. We're not gonna though, are we? No, because once again, we're greedy. <laughs> right, so that one's the chilli one, folks. Put dash in there, see? Yeah, well, we can and always- I must say, it smells really nice. It does smell nice, but you can always also paint this on as yeah. you're cooking it as well, can't you? Yeah. Right, well, I better get my hands dirty. Right, so Sharon's done hers, put her lid on, they're now marinating away, and of course I'm gonna have a go, Sharon, I'll always help you out. Because I tell you what, a lot of you people don't actually think I do anything. A lot of you people think I just do all the talking, Sharon. It's not true, is it, baby? No. Defend me, Sharon, quick. I'll always defend you. So, uh, yeah, same again. Always oh, a couple of stray feathers on there, Sharon. Oh, I don't like that, let's get them off. So, again, just the same as Sharon. Again, the whole wing is in there, yeah. as you can see. And I'm gonna get this barbecue sauce one and literally just drizzle it on there like that. Don't forget, you don't wanna put excess amount on because I'm now gonna get my hands in there, folks, and give it a good toss. So there we go, I'm happy with that. So that is a good idea, Sharon, putting a glove on. I'm glad you said that. So there you go, folks. We'll leave them for about an hour and then we'll come back to you and we'll put them in our little Kasori 3.8 litre air fryer and we'll cook them off. Once opened, put them in the fridge and use these within six weeks. Six weeks? That's a six long shelf weeks. life, isn't it? Yeah. So remember that, people. And that'll soon go in six weeks if you like chicken. So where's the Kasori now, baby? The Kasori, I have in there a gammon joint cooking. So let's go and take a look at the little Kasori. Let's have a quick look, folks. So we're just having our, kitchen, our other kitchen refurbished at the moment, folks. But this is where the Kasori lives. And as you can see, Sharon's cooking a gammon joint on there. She had it on 160 degrees centigrade. How long was it on for, baby? I'll put it on 30 minutes. So if I show you now. F 30 minutes, folks. Now look at that, look. And I will turn it over and do it another 30 minutes on the other side. Yeah, but can you see already, folks, how big, that's a quite a fair old size gammon joint, yep. that Sharon, isn't it? Yep, there's plenty of room in there. And we have that instead of ham, don't yep. we? Yeah. We don't buy a packet ham anymore. We buy one of them. That one was £3.50 and you paid £3.50 for a packet of ham and I'd rather eat that than a packet of ham. There you go, folks. That's just another another little tip there. Buy your ham like that, cut it yourself, and then it's better, a lot better flavour than what you get in them packet hams in the supermarkets. Here we go, folks. That's it now. That's that done. And uh, how long did that take, baby? Um, hour. Hour. And you turned it after halfway, didn't you? Yeah. So that's ready to be cut up now, and we'll do that at our leisure. But now, let's get on to our chicken pieces, baby. Look at that, look. That cool. Got the crackling on the skin as well there, look. Absolutely lovely. And we'll slice that up, folks. And uh, we eat that instead of packet ham, as I said to you. Okay, folks, it's been a couple of hours now, so we've let these marinate, it's soaked in lovely. We're gonna get them in the air fryer. So we'll do one flavor at a time, just so that we don't cross-contaminate them, but uh, literally just gonna push them all in there. And we're not gonna waste none of that sort of liquor there. We're gonna put all that over the top as well. Absolutely lovely. There's quite a few in there, actually, so... Um, Right, let's whack them in. And we've got a preset on here, Sharon, haven't yeah, we? we go for the chicken. We go for the chicken preset, which and is- And we'll leave it at that. 210 for 13 minutes. 
and just press the play button and that's it now there isn't a shake function on there folks so we will be keeping a check on these probably half i will give it a shake half time we will probably turn them over won't we nearly there folks it's got 24 seconds left and i just wanted to show you around the back here that the heat of that doesn't really get too hot what are we up to there baby about 51 degrees we're up to at the moment and i'm practically sticking it in the hole. yeah i mean you can put your hand behind there and it's not really hot at all to be honest with you it's like a hot down cypress sharon coming down to the last second let's have a look you did turn these over half oh look at them sharon wow look at them little beauties <laughs> We didn't coat them up again, folks. We left them as they was. You can obviously coat them up if you want to again, but um, we was happy with them as they was. And that time looks absolutely perfect, Sharon, doesn't it? It does, let's just chuck these in now. So we'll just put the other ones in, folks. These are the uh, barbecued ones. And again, just go straight in the same container. It doesn't really matter. And again, okay. now we know, we just press that button once, the chicken one, and then press the on button. And we know for these sort of chicken wings, it's absolutely ideal. One other thing to show you folks, there's the remainders, well I say the remainders, there's that ham joint we cut up. And I'm sure you can see, how much did this cost Sharon? Uh, £3.50. £3.50, you could buy two packets of ham. For £5, I think you can get two for £5. Yeah, not the, I'm not talking about the absolutely thin, no. the thin really processed quality stuff you get. Ham, the quality ham, ham yeah. cost you about £2.50 a packet, didn't it, for yeah. about five or six slices. Yeah. So there you go folks, that's the way we do that. But look at these. Merlin's looking. And just to check, Shell, as with any raw or uncooked meat, we like to always check, go into the thickest part of it first of all. And you're looking for a temperature above 75 degrees. So let's just have a little look up here. And there we go, we've shot past the 75 degrees there. So we know any bacteria in fresh meat would be killed off at that. So happy days. So they're ready to be eaten. But we'll wait for a little bit longer, Shell because we've only got another 14 minutes to wait now and we can give them both a taste test and actually see what this sauce is really like on chicken or even any other meat shell, I suppose you can put yeah. it on other ribs, meat as well. Ribs would be nice. Yeah, oh, they'd be fantastic on ribs. Mm. So we'll see you in a minute. Okay, baby, nearly there. Two, one, and out we come. She did turn these over again halfway, folks, and yet again, these are the barbecue ones. They look absolutely superb. Look at them, look sizzling away so that time works absolutely perfectly for yes. these these doesn't it yeah i'm gonna go and soak this people put it in soapy water straight away yeah that's what she does folks so there you go folks that's the barbecue sauce ones there absolutely superb and the other chuckles sauce which was the original hot sauce one we would actually cooked a few more of these but again they look absolutely superb so I think it's only right, baby, that we give them a taste. It is. Right, what one are you going for first? I'm going for them because they're cooler. Right, when she says cooler, she don't mean spicy cooler. These ones have been out, obviously, a lot longer. So this one it's is... still bubbling in front yeah, of Yeah, they are. One. This one is the original hot sauce, folks, from Chuckles. Oh, that's nice. Is it? Can you taste it? Mmm. Would it be rude of me to have a go, baby? Right, let's have a go at this, Sharon. I'm going in straight away. Yeah, it's Mm. Oh. 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 What a lovely, not hot, hot, spicy. No. Spicy, spicy. Mm. But not overpowering. There's a sweetness to it. And it's a bit moorish, isn't it? Mm. And I can say that that little kasori there, that's done a marvellous job of them. You could eat loads and loads of them, folks. Right, let's put that one down there for a minute. very nice. Well done, Chuckles. This one is their barbecue sauce one. Have I got it around my gob? No, not yet. Yeah, that one. Right, let's I go in again, baby. Mind you. Oh, that, they are a lot hotter. They yeah. just come out, aren't they? I'm going in again, folks. Oh, I'm all sticky, shall. Christ, I'm oh. They are hot, folks, but the barbecue sauce, again, some barbecue sauces can be too sweet without, in fact, that, that sweetness can overpower, but not this. Mm. 
You can taste the smoky overtone, Sharon. I need some ribs now to try this one. Mm. Great on the chicken wings, folks. I'm going to have to put that down, it's so hot. But I can imagine it being painted on some ribs, Sharon. And even put in the slow cooker. Oh, I love ribs in the slow cooker, it's amazing. If you're doing ribs, do them in the slow cooker. Although it will work in the cassoury as well. Or any air fryer, really. But there you go, that's the two sauces we've been trialling out today. And it's called Chuckles. We'll leave the link in the description below where you can get it. That's a really nice flavour to that part. And it's someone local to us as well, folks. Mm. Well, there you go. Hope you've enjoyed that, like we're going to enjoy these in a minute. And uh, don't forget to check out our other foodie reviews and stuff like that. Anyway, thanks very much, folks. We'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now. Bye. Oh, I don't know where to stop, baby. You never do. No, all sticky, baby. I'm all sticky. Oh.